What is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in this week. And this week's video is going to be a two-part series on birding. Um, and it's going to be a little unique. Honestly, I had this great idea with some help. Um, my brother Forrest, he helped me come up with the idea. And the idea is that I'm going to pick out a spot. I actually have already picked out the spot. It is a 1.2 mile, or 1.2 square mile area. Half of it is on the lake, Lake Pond right here, and the other half of it is um, on land up this hillside here with, uh, with lots of trees. And the challenge for my family and I is gonna be to guess how many species live or are in that area, that area that I picked out on the map. And um, I'm gonna go around to our family and have each person take a guess on how many species we're gonna find. And then I'm gonna talk to you all a little bit about how many I think are gonna be there, why I think that, um, what types of birds I think are gonna be there based on the habitats um, and the time of year, and just talk to you a little bit about this area. Um, the area I've picked is in an, a large area where I bird quite a bit, so I'm fairly familiar with it, but I actually haven't birded this exact same area. I actually just found out that it was public land a few days ago, and so I thought this would be a great way to get um, get warmed up to that area because I'm hoping this will be a good uh, good area for birding in, in, the, in the future. So I'm super excited for this week's video. If you're excited, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to show you around this, this, uh, this area next on the map and we'll catch you then. Alright, so I got the map up here. This is uh, Lake Ponderay, the big lake where um, in the region I live here in North Idaho. If you scroll out a little bit more, you can see Idaho a little bit better. There's the Panhandle. Um, so that's where we are at, um, right here. And the spot that I've picked out is uh, over here where my, my uh, mouse is. And it's right on the lake, um, right next to a spot I, we, uh, that's called Hawkins Point. Um, it's a great burning spot. I'm gonna scroll in a little bit so you all can see. And as you can see on the map here, it says Hawkins Point there. Um, sunny side is over here, that's another great uh, birding spot. And the area I have here um, is marked in this red line here. Um, we're going to be birding the interior of, if, of that. And um, I'm using Onyx Hunt, which is a uh, main, mainly used for hunting, but I'm going to use it for this purpose as well to show you about this. Um, and it's a great, uh, great web browser, web, web app, if that's what you call it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this area here. And if I do that, It'll bring up some information about the area. The um, area total is 54.2 acres, and the total length of the outside is 1.2 miles. So it's a it's a medium size, about 50 acres. Um, not too big, but you know it's, there's going to be some birds in there. Um, so as you can see here, if I scroll a little bit more, this is the lake edge. Um, half of the area, uh, roughly half, is on the lake, and roughly half is on shore. Um, the shore part is on public land. If you click on that, it will bring up uh, a big, some details about here. Idaho Fish and Game. Uh, the total area is 77.45 acres. If you scroll out a little bit, little bit more, just like that. Um, so we're going to be on public land for the uh, the land side of it, and then we're going to be on Lake Pondere for the uh, water side of it. And as you probably see, the road here. This is Sunnyside Road, I believe. Um, it goes right through our area, going to kind of be separating, so we're probably going to be burning from the road quite a bit, I imagine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about uh, what kind of birds I think are going to be in this area and why. So we're going to start out um, it, with the water. I think that we're going to have a, a good amount of birds in this area. Most of the birds, the total amount, I think is going to come from this water area. Um, as you see, I have it marked 200 yards out from the shore, roughly. Um, didn't do too great of a job on that, but it's roughly 200 yards out um, from the road. And I am going to expect that we're going to get lots of waterfowl species as well as greaves. So I'm thinking gadwalls, mallard, um, what else, greaves. So I'm thinking lots of horn greaves. Uh, the horn greaves definitely love this area. We've birded around here in Hawkins Point quite a bit, and the horn greaves really like it. A um, couple maybe redneck greaves, um, Canada geese. I'm thinking a couple bald eagles possibly flying by, maybe a belted kingfisher if we get lucky. Um, not totally sure though. That one might be a little tricky. Um, what else are we thinking? So I'm thinking buffleheads are going to love this area. I'm guessing um, common golden eyes, common mergansers, um, a lot of those water species that just really like to be around water um, and are going to be foraging in that area. Who knows, we may even get a common loon, that would be pretty cool. Um, there has been a rare yellow-billed loon, uh, which I saw in the last video. If you, I don't know if you watched that video. I'll post a link to that. 
um, down in the description, but we went to this similar area, actually. It was just a little, uh, little uh, over here, so next to Fisherman's Island here, and we were able to see the yellow bill limb, so you never know. I mean, that bird may switch over here and go come over here, so you never know. We may see that, which would be really cool. Um, all right, so let's talk about the, um, the forest side of things here. So it's a little smaller on the forest side. I will note that it is a, uh, a hill up here, and as you can see, the bottom part of this right here has quite a bit of trees kind of in a line. And from personal experience, all those trees are mostly um, ponderosa pine trees. There are a few red fir trees as well. Um, and there may be like a couple fruit trees people have planted as well. I'm not 100% sure though. If you um, scroll in, you can see there's a, it's, it's been logged here a while ago, maybe, I don't know, a couple years back, maybe 10, 15, probably 10 years. You can see some of the stumps and the satellite imagery here. Um, there's a, ro a road going through there, so we'll be able to drive up there. Um, I'm guessing because there's are ponderosa pines that I know, um, we're going to see quite a bit of red crossbills. I'm guessing at least two groups, maybe three, um, holding you know five to ten birds in each group, um, flying through that area, feeding on the ponderosa pines. Um, maybe we'll get a raven perched up on the on one of the trees there. Um, could get brown creeper um, going through the, tr the trucks there. Uh, Red-breasted nuthatch, maybe some chickadees. Um, might get a song sparrow, um, hard to tell. We could get um, some woodpeckers, maybe a flicker or a downy woodpecker, maybe a hairy. Um, you never know. But those are those are kind of my guesses for what's going to be in this area. But yeah, I just wanted to mainly just go through it, through this area, show y'all so you know what we're getting into here. Um, should be a lot of fun. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a guess for myself. I'm going to guess... All right, my final guess is going to be 23. So I think we're going to get 23 species total for this this spot here. Um, I'm going to go...
remember the dark head? Black head? That's definitely a yellow build. It's gray. See where I'm looking at right there? What you looking at? Oh. I gotta get my scope on there. Keep an eye on it and don't lose it.